Okay, it's recording, that's fine. So we're going to create from our one piece sleeve, our little mini block, the two piece sleeve. The two piece sleeve is more of a tailored sleeve and it's two pieces because it has two pieces. So it's the same fittings. We've got our keep your dart at the elbow rather than in the hem. So if you've got it in the hem, put it up to where the elbow is. You'll need to create it as an elbow dart. And it allows a dog leg shape, which is much more fitted for a tailored garment. So the way we start, you can see on my block I've got these hashed lines. You're probably not quite unaware how to work out your balance on your sleeve. Trace your sleeve off, keep your balance notches, draw your straight grain in. If you've got your dart in the hem, put it in so it's an elbow dart. On your sleeve, you will be able to fold, don't worry about what's going on the bottom, but fold against the top edges here. So they're matching just at the side seams. The sleeves are always more scooped on the front than the back. That's to allow, because it's scooped out, your cross front is narrower than your cross back. And that should be your straight grain. So if it's slightly off, do this, and then redraw your straight grain. Okay. And that goes on the crease. And that's your straight grain. Then you can fold your edges onto that straight grain. And this is going to be your quarters. So mark that line there. Now this, just fold the top initially onto your straight grain. I'm just going to highlight so you know which is my straight grain because I've got another line on there. So that's my straight grain, ignore the other one. So that one folds in, and then this one, we're folding that top one onto the straight grain, and then we're folding the bottom one, because this has got shape in it, you see. So this is this dog leg. This is what your elbow dart allows, that shape there. So you can mark across there where your dart is, just mark on the other side, and then when you fold this one up, that's how it calculates the elbow dart. That's why you've got that elbow dart there, because that allows that dog leg shape. Can you see? Because the, your elbow, your arm, when your sleeve's on, you want it to hang forward slightly. We can also, with the two-piece sleeve, have more coming in here so it's more like a banana rather than a straight so it's a much more fitted sculpted sleeve so that's how we worked it out if we cut this joined these together and just cut the seams on those fold lines when you're wearing said sleeve you would see the sleeve the seams so we just want to displace them slightly so on a full scale block, you're probably looking at bending it around about two centimetres from where you've got your quarter. Right, so you're just going to, because these are going to be joined, this is going to be joined and we're going to cut this to be a, a, another panel. So it's a two panel, two piece sleeve. So you'll just... Obviously, these are mini ones <coughs> on your actual full-scale one. This one's still a straight line. We've displaced that approximately two centimetres. This is if we don't have a button fastening. If we have a button fastening at the hem, you keep it here and then displace it at the top because you want the buttons on a button fastening. You would want the buttons to be seen that need to be on that edge so if it's a button fastening you would need the seam there for buttons but otherwise you would displace top and bottom the two centimeters as well so if it was a button fastening you'd keep it there and displace it out accordingly 
but otherwise you do them equally for if it's completely wrapped around and no button fastening. And you can see we've got a little bit of that dart then incorporated. That will just become ease. So make sure you put a couple of notches just so that that bit will be eased on because we can eliminate that dart when we become a panel joining it together. So we can now cut along our new seam lines. Keeping all your notches, all your important annotations. Get rid of the dart on that one. Cut it and stick it on a bit easier if it's small. Close that dart out. Right, can make sure we know that that's come off here. Make sure we know which is which, so this is the right side up. Because this one now is going to be stuck onto here. So all I've done is just moved the seam. So that was over here. All right, that's got the dart there. And I'm just going to move that so that the two will eliminate in the underarm seam and we're making it a panel. That will go here. And then I'm going to cut along this displaced seam now as well. And then this is working next, so you'll add your seam allowances on. Make sure you've got these notches drawn in so you know where your sewing between to join them and make sure the outside one's slightly different so wherever you've got some notches with your ease here and if it's the back then you'd probably put two notches on that one edge and then that is your panel and when they're joined together that's displaced you can see you've got a two-piece sleeve when it's sewn together. Now because this is a dog leg bit and because we've got the opportunity, we've got a seam there, we just want to scoop this little section out on this one there. We just want to scoop it out just to tighten it because otherwise it's just straight. We've got the opportunity, we've got a seam there where we can shape it a little bit more because our arm, we've got the dog leg for the elbow, but actually we want to sort of banana it. We can scoop that out on the inside as well. So we're just going to lose about one and a half centimetres in total. So on that seam there, you're just going to scoop it out seven millimetres each side, quarter of an inch banana it it's just to add because we've got a seam there we're going to use that to make that nice little banana and just cut that bit off and do the same on the other side just to add a little bit of shaping because it's a fitted sleeve and then you add all of your seam allowances on so that's got a little bit of a gap there where I've scooped those out and then these were sewed together, the others were sewed together, and you've got the same fitting sleeve, but it's in two pieces. The seams displace slightly underneath, and it gives a much more of a shaped, tailored feel about it. So that's what we have. Obviously you still cut a pair, but you still need to know which one's sewed to which. So you've still got your elbow dart, it's just here. You just moved it around and that's your two-piece sleeve which was made from your one-piece sleeve.